Hey there guys, just gonna go through my watermelons with you and what I've done. So I'll just show you. This is my watermelons. They're growing uh, strongly now, so that's good. Or well, most of them. So what I did is planted three seeds. About one, two, three, four foot apart. And what's happened is, one of my piglets has gotten in here and dug all around through and killed a few watermelons. But I finally fenced it off properly that they're not able to get in here anymore and the watermelons are doing right now. So there was, should have been three here. There's only one because he's dug up all around here or she has dug up all around there. So what I've got is cassava. And then watermelon, cassava, watermelon, cassava, watermelon, and so forth. And this is our yellow manioke. So they're starting to flower already. I'm going to have to um, spray. Um, it's a fung fungicide spray. Just to keep um, the fungus away. Just take that weed out there. There we go. So I just want some watermelons to eat this year. So all of this, the pig dug through. But a lot of that is okay. As you can see. One, two, three, four rows are not too bad. Except for that middle part there. It's gone. But all this is all good. If we sell, if there's quite a bit, then we can sell some. If not, just for eating. So I might do that today and spray today, later on this afternoon. Just that fungicide on it. Lucky I got it, like, way back in the days. Well, last year, way back in the days. <laughs> and what I've done is sprayed um, weed killer in between. Um, so I've done it twice. A week before I planted, and then also once more, um, once they were quite small. But I don't think I'll spray again, um, just to keep that uh, watermelon's healthy, just in case I might, because um, it gets quite windy. I can spot spray, but be very careful, because the wind can... Uh, basically just um, have a mist and go onto the watermelon and taro just grows up naturally and then I got some sweet potato in there and then after that I got some manioke two rows of um, Fiji manioke but yeah so it's starting to flower as you can see, there's a little bit of fungus over there, so I've got to get spray that today, get it in early. While I can, so it doesn't um, grab hold of the watermelon. Hang on, guys, sorry, I just want to get rid of these weeds. I'll check the watermelon. There you guys. Yep. We don't want that. But yeah, as you can see, starting to flower. There's ants already in there. Hopefully they'll pollinate it. There's quite a few bees here as well around this property. So that's great. But yeah, very happy with the outcome. And I haven't watered this once because it was done perfectly um, at the right time. It was a full moon when I planted and then the week after pretty much, oh actually a few days after it poured down with rain and then for the next week, for the next two weeks it was spot raining here and there. So that's good. 
take these weeds out. Even though I spot sprayed, this certain spray didn't kill the weeds. So there's two sprays that Tomlin's use over here. It's uh, Roundup and Acazone. And uh, I actually like the Roundup because it gets to the roots of the weeds. And it's not like you're spraying the whole soil or anything. You're just spot spraying. So there's a weed, spray. There's a weed, spray. And just keep going like that. Um, you're not soaking it like overseas where they go around in the fields, fly a plane over and just spray the whole thing. No, we don't do that here. It's just spot spraying. And then the echo zone is... I just I use the Acker Zone on this, and it doesn't work as well. It doesn't kill it to the roots like it'll die it down, or it will kill it, but um, it'll regrow from the roots again. So yeah, that's my watermelons. So very lucky. If it um, was all sunny, no rain, I would have to water. Definitely have to water. That would have been a big job. Uh, just watering, cart carting um, buckets of water over. And water that we can't really, well, we can afford um, with the rain happening. But if there was no rain, like a drought kind of thing, yeah, we wouldn't be able to anyway. So, haven't fertilized it, thinking twice about that, we'll just let it organically mature and grow, see how we go. I planted watermelons over here as well with all those sticks are, they don't do too well. For some reason, I don't know if it's the soil here. Or oh, because I didn't mound it up. See how they And these were planted before the other ones. See how they are? Very small. And they're not growing as well. So I don't know what it is with this soil here. Some are growing okay. Okay. Not great. But okay. Um, but once the, they actually start growing out, then they start growing real fast. It's just that first initial, um, I think it's just the roots getting uh, low enough or deep enough to be able to get good nutrients and keep moist underneath. So it's shallow on top and the sun gets to it. I've got a weed around here. The loose grass is gonna interfere with it. Like that one there. Got these Tongan banana trees that are growing. These cabbages didn't do well. We got some out of it, but um, because of the bugs. So where we got marigold and basil planted against them they didn't the the bugs didn't get to them so that's what we need to do Ooh. give that to the pigs got a few other little plants we did plant some fig trees um the fruit fig trees that mum sent over but they didn't um they didn't uh grow three of them so they already dried out at least tomatoes doing are okay these taro are probably gonna get bigger than me he's doing really well these taro so they've got pineapples on a few pineapple plants 
see quite a lot. These I should have fertilized to get great pineapples, but I don't have any fertilizer. Um, should actually use some yeast and sugar. That will do well. Anyway. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoy that. And um, I'm going to go have some breakfast, I think. All right. Peace. Bye for now.